Okay, so we're back here with Under Maintenance Part 2. It's been a while. I just... It took a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but we are back here again to do Part 2 of Under Maintenance. And honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing where we go from here. But yeah, we're going to see where we end up after this. So let's get right into it, honestly. <laughs> Okay, going right into it. I checked back towards the stage where the cute guy with the messy hair and glasses was testing the microphone just a few minutes before. Huh? He's gone. In his place, a young woman is settling in with a guitar. I don't get much time to be bummed out by his departure though. No message. A text. Sai, did you know there are other blind R's nearby? Try a blind blizz and we'll use our space magic fairy dust super secret algorithm to match you with a compatible single in your vicinity, right? Now, nifty, right? <laughs> okay, there's a bunch of that, blah, blah, blah. A blind date, huh? It could be fun to give it a try. Okay, we're gonna follow what they say they say. Yes! We crunching the data now. I give in and end up giving the dating app a chance after all. The bartender is cute, but he looks like he might be a bit of a player with a bunch of young women making new eyes at him from the end of the bar. To his right, the man fixing the beer tap is likewise very good looking, but also a little imposing and unapproachable with his tattoos and stoic demeanor. The men sitting next to me, Mark, I'd rather have a heart to heart with the plant in the corner. <laughs> I kinda wanted to chat with the dark haired cutie by the microphone. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I don't talk to strangers in person. Yeah. All done, we're connecting you to Your adventures await, and your match will contact you soon. Good luck. Well, that was underwhelming. Greetings, fellow blind R. On a fine evening, you find yourself standing at a crossroad at the edge of an enchanting forest. One path leads east, the other west. Is he playing a game with me? Head east, head west. Let's go to east! I decide to play along and decide and pick a direction. I go east. I'll go east. You walk a distant you walk a distance down the path, enjoying the rustles of the wind and the trees and the bright light of the moon, and happen upon an establishment for the consumption of spirits and assorted libations. Which way do I go? We're gonna go inside, yeah. There's a dark, handsome, mysterious-looking man sitting by himself, nurturing a, nursing a drink, while the bartender absentmindedly reads the paper. What's my next move? I ask the man in the corner if I can join him. I need a drink. Oh, I know what we're playing. Oh, I want to ask the like we're gonna keep playing along. We don't have to announce it. <laughs> I ask the man in the corner if I can join him. He's surprised, but nonetheless delighted. Accepting your invitation, he turns to you and says, Congratulations, you have reached the end of the journey. I know this app says we're supposed to be pretty close by to each other. For your achievement, I can award you with the name of a bar nearby where we can meet up for a drink in like half an hour. I just have something to take care of really quick. Is that okay? If that's okay, no pressure. I understand if you're or not. <laughs> I wonder what kind of prize it could be. I accept my reward. One reward, please. Is that a yes? Are you trying to back out of giving me my reward? No. No, 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 no. Okay, see you then. Okay. To my surprise, the name of the bar... Tristan and sends over a few moments later is the one I'm already sitting in. Is he already here? 
While I wait for my drink, I take a look around, but don't see anyone in particular using their phone. My attention wanders back towards the stage where the guitarist plucks away at the screens of their instruments. Before too much longer, the bartender reappears. Here's your Shirley Temple. Cheers, is there going to be live music all night? He shrugs. Maybe. The mic is open for anyone. Who knows what you'll see next. He gives me a wink as he collects my car to pay for the drink. What he means is it can turn into a real cringe palooza. Okay. Mark, don't start. I'll get this rung up, miss. Excuse me. Mark keeps up his commentary besides me, clenching his cheap domestic beer. I was avidly curious on what Mark meant, but also, it takes a lot of courage. Just how much cringe are we talking? Are we talking about outdated Rick Bar trend, cringe, or having a full-blown mental down in public over common sense safety measures cringe? Sometimes both. <laughs> he offers his hand to me. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I'm sorry, pleasure to meet you. Not really much into chit-chat, thanks. No, it wouldn't be nice. Oh, even though he was kind of rude. I don't even remember what happened last time, honestly. <laughs> I just know, like, I said something about him having an anger problem because he, like, had a whole outlash. But, bro, we can be friends. I'm sorry. Pleasure to meet you. I shake hands with the man. I have someone in hands be sweating and cold. I, I, I regret all my decisions. I'm fine. Pleasure to meet you. Hey. The pleasure is all mine. Gross. Wow, she's... <laughs> Oh, dang, Sai. Before Mike can get in another word, we're interrupted by a round of applause for the guitarist, who seems to be finishing up for the night. Thank you, thank you. That's all for me. The next performer on the list tonight is probably a loser. Okay, Mark, you can you can be quiet now. Definitely a masochist. <laughs> Tristan from the app, Tristan. Hey. What? Like you know the guy or something? I came to review the performance. Never seen him before. I came to review the performance. It's a bad habit I have repeating names for re to remember them. I'll just make a note of it and now on my phone. <laughs> I stuttered out quickly. I don't get the vibe Mark will react to in a positive way if I admit I have plans to meet Tristan. I shrink down into my seat and look up Tristan's profile with a swiftness which I was sent a link to after we were matched and yet very conveniently completely and totally forgot to check after he messaged me. Tristan, okay, 33 years old, a full list of my current extracurricular affiliations can be provided upon request. Pizza. <laughs> Looking for all of my songs that haven't been eaten by to dry. Very cool. You can only be certain of a lack of certainty. Hi. Hey. Hello. My name is Tristan. It's great to be here with you tonight. Tristan. He introduces he introduces himself to the dozens the dozen-ish people sitting in the crowd. Most of them caught up in their own conversation, hardly paying attention to him at all. Oh no, that's him. I'm not supposed to meet him here for another 20 minutes. He must have planned it so I would arrive after he finished his set. If I get up and try to leave now, he'll definitely see me. Guess I'm going to get to see his act. Recently, yes. I decided to cancel my cable TV. Uh, has anyone done this? Okay. You can't just do it online. They actually make you call them or you can go to their office in person. <laughs> what, Tristan? <laughs> He's so awkward. He's adorable. He grimaced as if to punctuate the, ar the horror of actually having to engage in a face-to-face -face interaction with a stranger. I am still clinging to some of my will to live, though. So I called them up. There's a whole process to it. First, they make you match wits with the automated phone operator. It's like encountering a sphinx of antiquity. Except instead of answering riddles, you just get the shout, Representative! Over and over until it lets you pass. <laughs> I stand at routine. This seems fine. Hey, Mark pats me on the shoulder. Psst. What the fuck's a sphinx? <laughs> <laughs> I 
you know, Egypt, the pyramids, what goes on in four legs in the morning. <laughs> Two in the afternoons and three at night. Mark stares at me with a blink to look. It's a mythological beast that acts like a guard and makes travelers answer riddles to let them pass. Oh, nerd shit. Bro, it's interesting facts, honestly. Meanwhile, Tristan continues his set. I stand fast against my moral foe and complain and explain that I want to cancel my service. In exchange, they counter my attack with an offer of a free year of checkmate. I laugh to myself. Um. I wish I was laughing. <laughs> Mark can't seem to shut up about Tristan's performance. You know, if you don't have anything nice to say, maybe you could not try not saying anything at all. Oh, what are you, my mother? Bro, you're rude. I was being nice to you earlier, but you're freaking rude. Are you gonna put me in a timeout? Ew. Never mind. Are you like said anything? <laughs> I just went drink to the other side of my space at the bar, sifting my weight as far away from the redhead as possible. Now, some people would be super excited to take a deal like this. Lots of people love the, the content company. The movies, the TV show, the merchandise, the hotels, the theme parks, even me. So... A few years ago, I even went to visit with my wife. Wife? Mayday, mayday. Red alert. Uh, the... <laughs> the hue has been breached and we were taking on water, Captain. <laughs> and she loved it so much. She got a season pass after that very visit. I thought she was just into the rides, you know. But then I found out what she really wanted to ride was... <laughs> but then I found out what she really wanted to ride was the big cheese Ricky wrote in himself. He <laughs> 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 wrote in just the guy who wears the suit for the me and green. So that's a fun story to tell a social guy. <laughs> hey Tristan, how's your wife doing? Um... Pretty good. As far as I know, she left me for a man in a rodent suit, <laughs> destroying my sense of self-worth and leaving me unmoved with no sense of direction in my life. Oh my goodness, Tristan. But how about this board? <laughs> On the bright side though, after I explained all this, they let me out of my cable contract. No more questions asked. Thanks for coming. I'm, I'm Tristan. <laughs> He finished his set to a round of very confused and slightly uncomfortable applause. <laughs> Been laughing. <laughs> Yo, bro, sounds like your ex might have thank you for coming if she ever actually came. Clearly no longer satisfied with throwing his shade on the side, Mark calls Tristan loudly across the bar. Tristan, mm -hmm. don't freaking shush your mouth. Where's my shoe? Freaking, freaking bop you on my shoe. Be quiet, Mark. <laughs> This guy, defend Tristan, stay out of it, agree with it. Freaking defend him! Don't be rude to him. But fed up with Mr. I probably peaked in high school and I have been taking it out on everyone else ever since. I finally give him a piece of my mind. Hey, how about you quit being a giant douchezoid for a change and leave him alone? Why don't you make me? Okay, okay, break it up. Mark, I warned you about hackling the open mic participants before. Your show's over now. Time to go. The redhead man hems and haves, scoffling at the bartender. Uh. Come on, man. I said get out. Don't let me in see your face in here for at least a day or two. Mark continues to grumble, but collects his stuff and departs the bar. Bye. <laughs> Sorry about that. The guy's been dealt a crap hand in life and is something of an acquired taste. Uh huh, I bet. Well, it looks like you'll be meeting your dude in distress before too much longer. He's headed this way. This is cool. Perfectly normal. A fairy tale romance in the making, right? While I wait for Tristan, I pull out my phone to text my best friend. Well, the day continues to be an experience. <laughs> You try blind art? Yeah. Yes. Sort of. I try blind art for this. I haven't even done that. Crazy, how was it? Well, he's really cute. He had me play Borg to talk to him. 
Whoa, that takes me back. <laughs> Sounds like an old school nerd. <laughs> yeah, but I like it. Sure, he's a bit eccentric, but funny. Eccentric, huh? That's different than what you're used to dating. I found the whole process kind of endearing. I mean, you're also a nerd. <laughs> and I love you for it. Okay, so you still out? Yep. He just finished stand-up comedy at the bar. <laughs> and I think my heart melted a little. <laughs> Actually, he's heading this way right now. Talk to you later. Oh, hey, wait. Don't forget to let me know how it turns out. Okay, I'll let you know later. Tristan, chapter two. We're going into chapter two. I'm gonna end it there, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go ahead and start in the next part because I'm kind of interested to play a little bit more. But yeah, we're gonna end it there. <laughs> we we'll get to talk to Tristan. Honestly, at first I was really digging the bartender, but now Tristan, <laughs> Tristan. <laughs> well, yeah, we're gonna end it there, and honestly, if you like what you see and you wanna see more from this. Or if you want to request other games and all that nifty jifty jazz, you can comment down below in the comment section. But yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next part. <laughs>